name is Micah Pollock, and uh, I've been on the faculty at the Harvard Ed School. I'm going to be joining the faculty at UCSD, and uh, we'll be also a remote, uh, remotely affiliated faculty affiliate with Berkman next year. Central question, I think, of this conference is what do we mean by private and what do we mean by public at this point? Um, I've been thinking about examples from education. Um, the question of who should see which information on young people or get which communications from young people uh, is very important in schools. And in a lot of ways, I think the definition of public and private that we're working with in education, I'm just thinking about this out loud and thinking about it today, is that maybe private means communications uh, that the participants really only intend for one another to see, and public means communications over which participants don't have as much control. Because I think I came in here thinking the sort of more obvious idea that public meant everybody and private meant alone. Um, but of course, if uh, you know, obvious examples from our project uh, were coming to mind all day. Um, uh, if, if a young person sends a text message to A and B happens to see it, suddenly it's public in a way that has only involved one other person. So it's really a question of intentions. Um, and so in education, how we um, handle these questions of who sees what information, I think are very central to, you know, to our work. Uh, I think maybe the deeper question in education is, um, when is it helpful to a young person's development to have somebody see information X? So whether it's a test score and who gets to see it, or a piece of work I made as a young person and who gets to see it. Um, these are core questions our field will just continue to wrestle with. But I think there are un unanticipated benefits sometimes of um, privacy and unanticipated benefits of public communication. So. Um, I'll give you one example of, of each. I think in some ways a very private channel in education can maybe open up um, uh, sort of rapid support for a young person that more public communications about how a child is doing would not. Um, but on the public side, uh, just saw yesterday in young people, a presentation of young people making e-portfolios that even if you didn't think that it was useful to you to demonstrate an ability that you have, um, to others, you've kept it private, your art skills. Totally private, it's your thing. Uh, in some ways, sharing an ability for the first time more publicly might lead people to offer you an internship. It might lead people to um, comment on your skill set in a way that motivates you. There are unanticipated benefits to making things public sometimes, even when your first instinct was to keep it private.